Hi everyone, this is Olivia with Crafting with Ollie. Welcome back. Uh, this is a craft I did today, guys. It's a little bit high and uh, it has a little battery pack inside the hole that I made here. And uh, stick around and you see how I made this, how I put it all together. And uh, if you like my channel, guys, I'd like for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell for me. And the thumbs up. Okay, so I got this little con shape uh, thing here. Uh, it's on clearance there, Hobby Lobby. It's got some some stains here and a broken area. But I said when I saw it, I said this I can use that and make it look like a honey honeybee uh, cage thing. But I saw this broken stuff and I said I can cover that up, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start use putting the rope right on there and it's going to cover it up i'm going to start in this area right here i'm going to start putting glue here and put the rope down so you just go happen to go to hobby lobby just go to the clearance section and you can find all kinds of things there that they have broken things like this they bring them down and just to sell them you can use it for other things like i am right now for this honeycomb idea i got as soon as i saw this little it's like a candle holder Okay, I really like the opening of this little uh, uh, little house here. And instead of covering it up, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn back, curve back the rope, loop it back like that, and just glue it onto itself. So I'm going to add glue right here so that when I loop the rope back onto itself, I can glue it right there. And that will leave this this unique shape here. I like that little shape and I'm going to leave that open and as if it, that's the shape of the the beehive. Everything else I am going to cover up. Uh, these little windows that this little thing has. I will be covering them up. I'm just leaving that opening alone. And if you like my projects, I would appreciate it if you all would hit my notifications uh, uh, little bell. And of course, uh, hit that like button, the thumbs up, if you like what you see. I'm coming to the top of this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get the, a piece of uh, the jute rope. I cut off about a seven inch strip here. And I'm going to glue some on, on each side of this top right here. And it's kind of like for the little handle at the top. And I'm just going to glue it on right there. And continue with this all, all around it. And it turned out to be a little unique shape here that I that I saw. Um, when I first saw it, I it, the first thing popped into my mind was a little beehive. So it does have a little unique shape to it. Okay, at the end, I'm just wrapping it around at, uh, on this little hook that I made there. I'm just going to put the last bit of glue here. 
wrap it around like this. And then cut off right there. And you're able to pick it up and it'll stay even though this is a little bit heavy. Now the front side of this I'm going to use the same rope just to cover up that hole there and I'm going to put it right about there. Like that. So let me start here, put some glue right here and go around. Place this right here. And just to give it a finished look, a better finished look on there. There's a little gap in here, so I'm just going to put some hot glue in there. And I cut off a piece of that rope and I'm just going to put it in there. All I'm doing is just stuffing the, the jute rope in there. Just to finish, cover up that little gap that was in there. I guess that'll do. Okay, I'm going to add another piece here just to finish the gap here to make it look like it's the entrance. Okay, now I'm just going to decorate it. I'm going to take my uh, my lighted uh, B string, and I already put batteries in here. And, and uh, the reason why I wanted to leave that little opening is because I'm going to tuck that battery in there, and I'm going to start putting the bees all around. are facing the right side up okay the I'm just setting the bees here not I'm thinking of putting just a little dab of glue and on some of them not all of them just like this one right here so it will stay in, stay in place so it'll stay where I want it like that one right there this one's fine right here my battery pack it's just stuck in there. Let me turn this over. So this one's upside down. So you just flip it over. And if I add a little glue to it, it will stay down.
All right, I got this flower out of a little bushel that I had that I bought at Walmart, and I'm just going to add some blue there and stick this flower right there. And with all my beehives, I like to use this little bee that I get at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to stick them right here on the on the flower. It has some little sticky things on it already, but I'm just going to add some more soup, hot glue on it. Just so it'll stay. Let me get my finger protector to hold it right there. Okay, now I haven't finished stringing the bees because I wanted to put that flower first. So now I'm just going to get some, continue stringing the, the bees around. Okay, and I am using some hot glue here and there so that I can uh, make the bees look like like this way it's gonna make him look like he's going into his uh, little beehive here and the glue is just to hold it in place because it will it will it will be move it will move around I use my finger protector here Like I said, I did put glue here and there. Not all of them are glued down, just some <clears throat> that I feel need to be glued down. And the last one at the end, I just wrapped it around the loop here and it looks like it's flying off out, out of the beehive. Alright, and uh, this uh, sprig of bu uh, bush I had has these little vine looking things. Uh, I used it for other things, but I want to use them to make it look like it's growing out, coming out from the hole in there. I'm just going to glue it there. I'm going to put these three little flowers here. I think uh, nature always has numbers and odds. So I'm going to put these three right here just to cover up some of this wire from the lights. And this little vine, I'm just going to put it back here like it's coming out of there and let it hang out like that okay real quick for the materials that I used uh, the rope I got it at Dollar Tree and it's a nine and a half feet this is the one that's a little bit more thinner uh, there is another one I think is eight feet but it's thicker and uh, the lights I got these at Walmart and it's a spring lights and they're the little bees and they were for $3.98 they're the little bees that were in here this is a 2 AA battery and uh, the bee I always get this bee at uh, Hobby Lobby at the paper studio and it's for $4.99 in Hobby Lobby and of course the this floral bush it's already gone but all the, uh, had a lot of other flowers in it it I got this at Hobby Lobby and it just was a big arrangement of different flowers that I've already used and and uh, this is the final what it looks like now that it's complete um, you could use whatever decorations you want and again this little container that I found, I just happened to see it and I said, oh, that looks 
something I could use for a, a honeybee a hive so I hope you all like my uh, my project today guys my craft um, and uh, if you can just look around find something similar to this shape that you could make this hive and uh, it, it helps to go to the clearance section of the Hobby Lobby where you can find a lot of gift, neat things like this. Thank you for being here with me guys. Bye.